Hi there, this is Mr. Graham with Geometry in Chapter 6, Section 4, talking about compositions of transformations. Remember, this chapter is all about transformations. Okay, so what we're learning about today is the composition of transformations, which is simply what we've talked about before, right? We've talked about reflection. We've talked about translation. And we've talked about rotation. Now, what a composition of transformation is, it's all of those together, okay? So in other words, we are applying two or more transformations in one, okay? So the first example we'll talk about is a glide reflection. So in other words, a glide reflex, reflection, we're thinking a translation. Then after we translate it, we're going to reflect it. Okay, so the first thing, obviously, is to plot your triangle. I'm going ahead and get these two triangles plotted just so it's done with, okay? One, negative four. Six, negative four. Five, negative one. Now I'm going to do this triangle on the right, too, just so it's done with, okay? But here's that first triangle. Next triangle on the right. Two, eight. One, two. Whoops. And then four six. Now, with composition transformations, we are applying two transformations. But however, we have to do one at a time. All right. So the first one we have to do is a translation along two zero. So this triangle left. I'm going to translate it to zero, which remember means two right. Zero up. So, one, two to the right, boom, there's my point called R prime. One, two to the right, boom, there's my point called S prime. One, two to the right, boom, there's my point called T prime. And draw your triangle. So that's the first one. It's a translation of two zero. Now, the next thing is a reflection in the X axis. So just a reminder, the x-axis is this line right here. So I'm reflecting it across this line. So notice, because it's below it, when I reflect it, it should now be above it, right? It should be somewhere up and over here. So r prime is 1, 2, 3, 4 below. Therefore, it should be 1, 2, 3, 4 above, right here. here. So I call this r double prime because that is the second transformation I've applied to that point. S is 1, 2, 3, 4 below. So therefore, on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4 above. That is S double prime. T is 1 unit below. So therefore, 1 unit above. That's T double prime. Therefore, those are my coordinates. where R double prime, S double prime, and T double prime would be three, four, eight, four, seven, one. All right, this next sphere, once again, I already plotted it. You can go ahead and make sure you have it plotted. Again, if you ever get caught up in the video, feel free to always pause it and rewind or get caught up. All right, first thing I do is translate it though along 3, 3, meaning 3 right, 3 up. So, D, 1, 2, 3 right, 1, 2, 3 up. There's D. G, 1, 2, 3 right, 1, 2, 3 up. So there's G prime. Sorry, both those are prime. F, 1, 2, 3 right, 1, 2, 3 up. There's F prime. Now, the next thing we have to do is reflect across y equals x. 
Now, just a reminder, that would be this horizontal line like so. So, I would find my coordinates quick, where D prime is 511, F prime is 4, 5, G prime is 7, 9. Now, when it's Y equals X, remember, you just flip your coordinates. Right? In other words, x becomes y. Right? If I have x, y, my x becomes my y, my y becomes my x. So, in other words, d prime would now be 11, 5. f prime would now be 4, excuse me, 5, 4. And g prime would now be 9, 7. Plot those points. Sorry, that's not prime. Those are double prime because it's my second transformation, right? G or F double prime is 5, 4. G double prime is 9, 7. And once again, those are glide reflections. Okay, go ahead, pause the video, try this next one on your own. Okay, welcome back. So just to check, your triangle is 6, negative 1. Should be right here. That should be J, 10, negative 2, 5, negative 3. That's L, that's K, and that's J. So the first thing we need to do... Translate along 0, 4. So 0, 4 means 0 right, 4 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, so my triangle should look like so. Now the next step is reflection in the y-axis. Now where's the y-axis? Well, that is this line right here. So L is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the left. That's L double prime. So L double prime is negative 5, 1. J is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the right. Therefore, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the left. That's J double prime. Which is negative 6, 3. Lastly, k is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Therefore, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 on the left. Now, a quick way to do it whenever it's the axis. Quick way to check, it should just be the opposite of that point, right? So if it's at positive 10, it should be at negative 10. Okay, so this one is negative 10, right? Because my x is just the opposite, but it's the y stays at 2. So that would be my glide reflection, for example, one here. Now, there are other ways to do it. These are called composition of isometries, okay? Isometries. So the same rule applies, though. So for Wx here, it's just negative 4, 6, negative 4, 1. And once again, that's Wx.
Now, like I said, the same rules apply. Where I'm going to first do whatever it says, which is reflection in the x-axis. So reflection in the x-axis, that is this axis right here. So flip it over. X is one above, therefore it's now one below. W is six above, therefore now it is six below. Then we have rotation 90 degrees about the origin. So if this is the case, right, I always write my coordinates out then. X prime is negative 4, negative 1. W prime is negative 4, negative 6. So therefore, if I'm rotating at 90 degrees, remember your rule, right, if you have X, Y, it becomes the opposite of Y, X. You flip it, negate the first. So X prime should be 1, sorry, negative 1, negative 4, then negate the first to make it positive. W double prime should be negative 6, negative 4, then negate the first to make it positive. Okay, so it should be 1, negative 4, 4, x double prime. It should be 6, negative 4 for w double prime. Same thing applies for the next one. Rotation 90 degrees about the origin. So plot your triangle here. Or probably probably the line. Negative 3, 2. And 3, 8. Now we need to rotate that. So therefore, A prime, if I'm going 90 degrees about the origin, flip it. Negate the first, so 2, negative 3, that 2 should become negative. B, 3, 8 should become 8, 3, and that 8 should become negative. Then plot your points. Negative 2, negative 3, would be A prime, negative 8, 3, would be B prime. And sorry, once again, these should have been A prime and B prime, or sorry, A and B as well. Then, I'm going to translate along 4, 4, meaning right 4, then up 4. So, A prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, that's A prime. B prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, those are, both of those are double prime. Therefore, my coordinates for A double prime would be 2, 1. B double prime would be negative 4, 7. Okay. Try this next one on your own. Okay, so you should have a triangle plot of negative 6, negative 2. There's A. Negative 5, negative 5. There's B. Negative 2, negative 1. There's C. I'm going to move this B quick. Plot your triangle. Now the first thing we're going to do, it, do what it says. It says rotate 180 degrees about the origin. So take these coordinates, rotate them 180 degrees. Meaning, take your coordinates... And you just negate both. So it should be positive 6, positive 2. B prime should be positive 5, positive 5. C prime should be positive 2, positive 1. Plot those points. 6, 2 for A prime. 5, 5 for B prime. 2, 1 for C prime. Step two, it says translate along negative two, four, meaning you're going to go left two and up four. So, 
going to go left, one, two, up, one, two, three, four. C double prime. Left, one, two, up, one, two, three, four. B double prime. Left, one, two, up, one, two, three, four. A double prime. Right? So your final image will be after both your translation transformations, right? Just even looking at all these, right? Move it once, then you move it again, right? You don't go back to the original. Okay, that just defeats the purpose. Move it once, then move it from your new image. Okay, move it once, move it from your new image. Move it once, move it from your new image, okay? Now, last step we have to talk about is describing the transformation. So this example here, right? Determine, is this a, are these triangles congruent? Well, looking at this first one here, right? Obviously, I can see they're congruent because the sides are equal. Right? Look at all the sides of those triangles. They're equal. You can count the units to even make sure. So now how do I transform it? Well, what I see, definitely a reflection. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the shape to be correct. Now you could slide it first, okay? You could translate it first, or you could reflect it first. Really, it's up to you, okay? I'm going to reflect it first. And personally, I'm going to reflect it over this x-axis. So I'm going to say the first transformation is reflection, sorry, not the x-axis, over the y-axis. So therefore my points should now be located here, right? After I reflect JKL, my green one, onto my blue one, this will be my triangle, and then my next step would be to translate by a vector of I need to go left one, up two, left one, up two, left one, up two. So therefore it should be negative one because it's left one, then positive two because it's up two. Whoops, not a parenthesis for our side base. Next one, very similar here. Right? I'm going green on to blue. Okay, green on to blue. So the first thing I see is, I'm thinking, hey, something like this line right here, right? Some type of reflection. You could say rotation, but if I rotate, it's gonna end up like this, right? Something like that. So I'm thinking, I'm going to are these congruent, first of all? Yes, they are. And what I think is I'm going to try reflecting across y equals x. Now, there's more than one way to do this. Okay? You might have your own way. That's okay. But I'm going to do it the way I see it, which is reflection across this line here. And when I do that, all you have to do is flip your coordinates. Right? So if j is 2, 0, k is 4, 0, and L is 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. J prime would be 0, 2. K prime would be 0, 4. And L prime would be negative 4, 2. So therefore, it looks something like this, right? 0, 2, 0, 4, and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And now... After that, all I would need would be a translation, right? Because now it's just sliding. Where I would go down one, right one. Down one, right one. Down one, right one. So therefore, if I go down, sorry, I messed that up. I should go right one, down one. Right one, down one. Right one, down one. Therefore, my vector should be a positive one, negative one, because I'm going down one. Okay. 
Go try this next one on your own. So, what do I see here? Well, I know I'm going to have to rotate. So, the first thing I'm probably going to do is rotate it 180 degrees. Okay? Because I see that I need to get this angle to be all the way on that side. So, I'm going to rotate. So, I'm going blue onto green. It says ABC onto DEF. So, first thing I'm going to do is rotate. 180 degrees. So where A is negative 4, 1, B is negative 2, 1, and C is negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A prime would now be if it's 180, that's going to be positive 4, negative 1. B prime is going to be 2, negative 1. C prime is going to be 2, negative 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. 1, 2, negative 1. 1, 2, negative 5. Here's my new triangle. And then we can see that my last step would be translate. Looks like I need to go right 1, 2, 3 units. And I'll go up or down, so therefore my vector would just be 3, 0. That's it. Um, we can skip this one. Okay, we had a lot that were very similar to this above. Okay, so don't worry about the check. All right, but your assignment is 6.4, Composition and Transformation. That is in McGraw-Hill. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. That's Mr. Tremaine with section, chapter 6, section 4, all in geometry, all about transformations. Signing off.